Masayo's taken the day off, but as the snow stops and the best budget in the world doesn't cover a Japanese minibar, I've decided to go in search of a simple snack. The real problem for me is the language, because if I travel to Germany or France, I can't really speak those languages properly, but I can look at the words and they make a noise in my head. And often their words are related to our words and you can work out a few basic things. But in Japanese, when you look at the signs, there is no noise in your head. I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, James is just being a dork. It can't really be that difficult, but it is. Come and see. Now this is the food ordering machine, but obviously you can't know what any of it is because it's all written in kanji. And if you're trying to play along at home, know that the numbers and symbols on the picture board don't relate to the numbers and symbols on the machine. I oh, know it's different on there though, isn't it? It's none of those, but the numbers are different. So the colours will mean something. I think the orange things are hot, or are they? Television shows are often accused of exaggerating the truth in the name of entertainment. This machine genuinely took us six full minutes to work out. Yes, there you go. Right. Even after that, I've only unlocked door number one. So just to summarise, I went to a very complicated machine to buy some noodles when I could have just asked a man, but I got a ticket from the machine, which I then had to give to the man, and he tore it in half immediately and sent me over to the noodle bar, where I offered the ticket to the lady, but she didn't want it. But three minutes later, it turned out I had hit the jackpot after all. Wow, look at that. And now everything is OK because I have a bowl of noodles. Mmm. Japan is famed for its raw fish, but a bowl of ramen is what gets things done. In face-shatteringly freezing Hokkaido, it feels like the beans and sausages of the Orient. Anyway, I'm delighted to say that having been pelted with it and had my face rubbed in it, we're leaving all this snow stuff behind and we're heading for the broad, sunless uplands of southeastern Hokkaido, where the haiku are all about fresh, dry tarmac. And where, finally, I'm allowed to film a proper scene about people making stuff.